captain's log. Guybrush Threepwood. Lost at sea for days now. I have no crew or navigational instruments. No provisions except a half-eaten corn dog, and unless I find water soon, I'm surely done for. Only the hope of finding my love, Elaine, keeps me going. And my quest for the fabulous treasure called Big Whoop has left me in this sorry state. I thought it would bring me fame and glory. Instead, it delivered me into the clutches of my enemy, the zombie pirate LeChuck. I had thwarted his evil plot to marry Elaine, and he was after revenge. Uh, really, really thirsty now. If only I could have a small drink of fresh water, I might have the strength to sail on. Oh, but I know there's nothing but ocean for miles and miles. If I could reach land, I might find water and some food. Fruit, maybe. Something to fight off the scurvy and help me get my strength back. Hmm, maybe some bananas. Oh, why do I torture myself like this? I might as well wish for some chicken and a big mug of grog for all the good it'll do me. Oh, my sweet Elaine. Am I cursed to starve here on this ocean without seeing your face just one more time? Am I... I just don't feel that way about you. Elaine? By my congealed blood, you'll learn to love me. Sail with me, and I'll make you queen of the dead. I, I can't. I'm washing my hair tonight. Blast me your hair, woman! Can't you see that this salty old sea corpse pines for your every gentle caress? You know, I don't think my father would approve of me dating the undead. And you're probably too nice a zombie pirate for me anyway. Let's just be friends instead. It, Lechuk. You're an evil, foul-smelling, vile, codependent villain, and that's just not what I'm looking for in a romantic relationship right now. Darn your riddles, you saucy female! What do you mean? Ah! Oh! 
You're a bloodthirsty monster who's already kidnapped me once, tortured my friends, and taken from me the only man I ever loved. Guybrush Threepwood. Ah, <sighs> how romantic. Shaboy! Threepwood! Fish him out. Guybrush? Guybrush, Threepwood. By my gangrenous gut, I don't know how you escaped my carnival of the damned. But you won't escape the taste of my blade! <laughs> Lass has spirit. Throw him in the hole and I'll finish him after the battle. Turn loose the long boots! And prepare the flaming voodoo cannonball. get out of here and help Elaine. If I could only get through this one door, well then I could easily overpower the armed guards above, slip over the side, and make for the shore. Quit your mumbling, captive! I see a diorama of the children of the world living in peace and freedom. No, wait. It can't be that. It's just too dark to make out what's in there. Blast ye scurvy dogs! Stand your distance! I'm selling these fine leather jackets. Really? No. I'm lying. In that case, I don't want one. Well, sorry we couldn't make a deal. Cross me again, and I'll chum for sharks with you. Is that a real eye patch? Aye, sure it be real. Then why are you wearing a monocle underneath it? It keeps the dust out of me eye socket. Hey, wait a minute. You're not a pirate. Wally! Don't you recognize me? It's Guybrush Threepwood! Oh, gee. Hello, Mr. Wood. The last time I saw you, we were prisoners in LeChuck's dungeon. Why would you sign on with the Ship of the Living Dead? Well, Mr. Brush, at first I had some misgivings about it. But thanks to LeChuck's seminars, motivational lectures, and audio books on Parrot, I've become a vicious Corsair. You can, too. Ask me how. Tell me about these seminars. The seminars really brought things into focus. You don't know how empowering it is to be able to say to yourself, yes, I am a despicable, filthy, villainous pirate deserving blame and censure, but that pirate is who I want to be. Everyone was really very supportive. We had this great feeling of synergy. Then LeChuck kicked down the door and said, you lazy scum, get back to work or I'll beat you with your own legs. Tell me about these motivational lectures. Well, they weren't lectures as such. It was what LeChuck described as flogging the inner child. Tell me about these audiobooks. To become a pirate, the audiobooks on Parrot are the key. You get a set of 12 parrots, one a month. Return as many as you like, keep them all and live. They teach you to talk just like a pirate. All the key phrases are in there. Blow the man down. Shiver me timbers. Who's a pretty bird? All the phrases a pirate needs to command respect on the high seas. Do you have any literature I could look at? Here. This leaflet explains the basic philosophy I follow. Set me free, Wally. I can't, Mr. Brush. I'm the evil pirate 
blood nose now. And besides, even if you got up on deck, LeChuck would cut you to ribbons. What's behind that door? Ooh, that's the door to LeChuck's treasure hold. There's heaps and piles of gold and silver. He's brought all the loot he's ever stolen to give to Elaine. LeChuck is convinced that he can buy Elaine's love. Hmm. What are LeChuck's plans? He's been working on a secret weapon, some incredibly powerful cannonball. He's going to use it to blow down the walls of the fort so his crew can overrun the island. Snap out of it, Wally. That's blood nose to you, you scurvy sea bass. You're a failure as a pirate. Shut your trap, you yellow-bellied blowfish. One more peep out of you, and I'll do you in. Peep. Yes, scabra swab. One more word, and I'll let you have it. Word. That's it. I'm gonna blast you. I'm gonna... I'm... gonna... <laughs> I'm... I can't do it. I just can't. <laughs> You're right, Mr. Wood. I'm just not a pirate. I'm not ferocious or bloodthirsty or hateful or anything. I'm not even... I'm not even unpleasant. Oh! Well, ah! oh, there, there. I can't quite squeeze past this cannon. Pretty really good at this. Ooh, gross. All the bones and stuff are floating towards the ship. <laughs> well, they messed with the wrong skull this time. <laughs> hey, that's my arm. Give that back. I could just get my hands on that gunner. If I could just get my hands there. Can I call you Bob? You may call me Murray. I am a powerful demonic force. I am the harbinger of your doom. And the forces of darkness will applaud me as I stride through the gates of hell, carrying your head on a pike. Stride? All right, then roll. Roll through the gates of hell. Must you take the fun out of everything? You know, you look great with a melting candle on your forehead. I get the feeling you're not taking me very seriously. No, I am, really. Really? Then let me hear you scream in terror. Oh. <laughs> Why do you villains always laugh so much? I wasn't laughing about anything in particular. Somewhere there's a fish nibbling on my foot and it really tickles. You're about as fearsome as a doorstop. Is it a really evil-looking doorstop? Uh, never mind. Was your mother's father bald, too? I'm not bald. I just have a really high widow's peak. Well, at least now you never have to worry about what to wear. Well, I suppose that's true. Yeah, and accessorizing is really easy. That's also true. And I look good in hats. There you go. How can you see without eyeballs? How can you walk around without a brain? Some things no one can answer. I'm going now. Good. Now leave me alone. I have a lot of scheming and evil plotting to do. <laughs> ah, well. I guess I'll just have to look on the bright side of this. If I gave you your arm back, what would you do with it? I'd terrorize the South Seas. I'd torture the living. 
I demolish a... Uh, um, what I meant to say was I'd use it to pet kittens. And <laughs> nope. You blew it. Drat. <laughs> Cold steel, feeble cannon restraint rope. <laughs> now, with the demon flames of this voodoo cannonball, I'll blast my significant other into the significant other world. <laughs> That'll show her how much I truly care. <laughs> <laughs> Neptune's navel, that was a close one. Oh, no! Hey, I lost my cutlass when the ship capsized. It's LeChuck and all his gory. Uh, glory. Chocolate-covered barnacles? Marshmallow hooks? Sea urchins? Glass eyes? Ugh. It's got a zombie ballerina. I don't even want to know what LeChuck's plans were for that. Marry me or die. Touching. It's stabbed through the heart. Cute and yet sinister. <laughs> it's a bag of wooden nickels. Some treasure. Hey, there's a big diamond ring behind this bag. Guybrush? Brush, I thought I'd lost you forever. Is it really you? Yes, Elaine. Um, did you really mean what you said out there? That I was the only man you ever loved? Uh, well, yes, Guy Brush, I guess I did. Elaine, I'm a man of action. A swashbuckler, a rogue, a wanderer, a man who could hold his breath for ten minutes. I have no ties and no regrets. I sail with the wind and go where adventure takes me. But somehow, something always Guy leads Rush, me. Guybrush, stop babbling. Elaine, will you marry me? Oh, Guybrush. Oh, Wally? You're alive. But how did you survive the explosion? I was thrown clear. I'm just lucky I wasn't wearing my seatbelt. Wow, Elaine, that's some ring. Thank you, Wally. It's an engagement ring from Guybrush. Hey, that looks just like the big diamond ring that Chuck had in his treasure hold. You know, the one with that ghastly, disfiguring voodoo curse on it. Well, I'm sure Guybrush wouldn't have given you that ring. Anyway, I've got to be going. I hear there's a tattoo ring in place on this island that's freckle safe. See you at the wedding. Guybrush! Uh... <laughs> <laughs>